What's up, gang? I'm Pool Noodle, and I've asked this question before, but do you ever wonder how everybody gets as rich as they do in Diablo 2 Resurrected? Well, my friend, today I'm bringing you all the ins and outs and tips and tricks to get as wealthy as you can in as many ways as I could think of. I'll keep each section short and easy to digest in traditional noodle fashion so that you can get back to your farming sooner rather than later. Now let's dig in. I'll start with something that's super well known to a lot of people, and that is Travinkle runs in Act 3. Trav runs are fantastic because you always have four or five unique monsters every time you run it, which not only gives you plenty of chances to get sweet items, but it also is arguably one of the best gold farms in the entire game. That means you can make as many trips to your favorite gambler as you want without having to take out a second mortgage. The second thing that I have on here is the not-so-secret cow level. Now, as a reminder, you cannot open this portal yourself until you've killed Bale in whatever difficulty you're trying to do this on. Once you do, though, this is an incredible place to start farming early on because this is where you're going to get a lot of your bases for rune words, early gem economy, charms that have the potential to be skillers, jewels, and even some decent rune drops if you get lucky enough. The density and the predictability of the mobs here are what make this such a nice and easy place to farm. If you're killing cows pretty easily and you want a better challenge with better drops, the next thing would be level 85 areas. There are a bunch more level 85 zones that were just added with a new D2R ladder, so that will increase the diversity of the builds that can farm them. These are fantastic spots to farm since almost literally any item in the game can drop in them. All of these zones will have immunities to at least two elements, and some can have immunities to all of them, like the Flare Dungeon, for example, but I'll have another video that's going into more detail on all of these in the description down below, so be sure to check that out when you're done with the video here. Another popular option to grind here on D2R is what people call EPS, Eldritch, Pindle, and Shank. These three are always in the same spots, and you can run all three of them in the same game in less than a single minute, providing you with a very repeatable farm for endless amounts of chances at some dope loot. The one thing to be aware of with these bastards is that they can can vary in their immunities, so you want to approach this as a dual element build or physical build in my opinion. Eldritch, for example, was cold and fire immune on one of my test runs, which made my Hydra Orb Sort completely useless for that one, but I was still able to nuke the other two just fine. The fifth section on this list will have two parts. We will start with boss farming like Mephisto, for example. With a low to mid amount of gear, you can be in and out of a Mephisto game in anywhere between 45 and 60 seconds. These are amazing because you can get hella items from Mephisto and his councilman and the super chest, but you also have a chance at getting the essence that drops here, which leads us to part two of this, which is collecting these essences. There are four of them in total, and when you cube them all together, you get a token of absolution, which offers you a respec just like Akara does. The other three of these drop from Hell, Duriel, and Endariel for the blue essence, the latter of which is a very popular farm, Diablo for the red one, and Bale for the green essence. The tokens can generally sell for anywhere for an um for one up to an ist for two, which means your magic find runs kind of have an alternate source of currency farming. Now, section six, statute nine of this video states, and I quote, thou shalt rush people for their forge. This is super easy and straightforward if you have a sorceress. You just rush people and they give you their hell forge when you get to act four and hell. Be weary with this one though. It can be a solid waste of time if you get all the way there and your rushy stiffs you like this dick right here. So before we talk about slightly more elite level of things, just a reminder, with all the previous mentioned things, don't get discouraged if nothing drops. You could be just three feet from a gold mine, so just keep digging. The last few items on this list all kind of go hand in hand with each other. You can farm these keys to the pandemonium event, which drop from hell countess in act one one, the Summoner in Act 2, and Neelithak in Act 5. It's pretty easy to build up wealth just by farming these keys, but you can take it a step further if you have a build strong enough to kill the mini uber bosses yourself and offer that as a service to others as well. If you manage to do that, you can get yourself a set of three organs, which means the next step would be to enter Uber Tristram or pay someone to run it for you. This will get you your Hellfire Torch, which is arguably one of the most important pieces to any build in this game. Just like mini ubers, if you can handle Uber Trist yourself, you can offer this as a service to others for whatever fee you deem fair. And the same concept can be used for Diablo clone, but we'll get into that in a different video at a later date. So do me a favor, subscribe if you haven't already, and like this video so more people can see it, because I know there's a huge portion of the community that can benefit from one part of this or the other. I stream all of my leveling, farming, and uber operations live on Twitch quite a few times a week, so if you're looking for some live interaction and entertainment, make sure you follow from the link in the description down below. There will be a few other helpful links, like one to the Noodle Gang Discord, where a lot of us have been hanging out lately, so don't be a stranger and come on in. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Happy grinding travelers, and I'll see you next week.